Hello everybody, today we're gonna learn how to use booleans with variants. You don't know what's a boolean? Well, basically that's just imagine true and false, okay? I'm not gonna go into like mathematics and uh, development or any of this technical stuff. When you see a word boolean, that means something can be true or false. So why should that be even useful for us? Well, imagine if you would have a button that has an icon or doesn't have an icon. So you can use just a toggle to show or hide that icon. I mean, it's, you know, just a cool extra feature with variants. You don't have to use it. You will not miss that much. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually use it because sometimes it can be, you know, just a nice addition to your component with variants. Let's jump into Figma and see how to make them. So over here, I have a button with icon and without icon. As you can see, I have two frames with a little bit of design and now we're gonna make a component. We're gonna use create multiple components. If you haven't noticed that before, you can just batch create everything from uh, many frames. Okay, and you know the next step, combine as variants. And now what we have is no icon and with icon because of the naming structure. Uh, we used with forward slash, but you should already know that. You should check my one of my previous videos to learn more about that. But anyway, we have two variants, uh, no icon and without icon and property that kind of is a collection for these two variants is called property one. Well, we will change this to icon because it will make sense in a second. And then you can double click on these little pills, these little buttons and rename them as well. And this trick applies to variants. So if you name it true and false, they will become a toggle. You will see in a second. So this one is no icon. So this is false and this is positive with icon. So true. So what happens now is I will go to my assets. I'm going to drag the instance of my button. And then what happens is I don't have this little drop down. I have a toggle so I can toggle if I have an icon or if I don't have an icon. That's it for this tutorial. It was super simple, super fast, and I hope it will make your life a little bit easier if you have situation where you think, mm, I wish I have a toggle in my interface just to, you know, switch on or switch off an icon or something else. Be creative. If you find some unique way of using this feature, please let us all know in comments so we can all start using it. And to wrap this up, please subscribe. It's very important. Let's grow this community together, this channel together. We are growing super nicely in past few months. So let's just continue this very awesome trend. Also, let's connect on social media. If you have any questions, feel free to ping me on whatever platform. And until next one, Joski.